Alright, good evening guys, we're up at Vastec tonight. Now, tonight's going to be a tale of two halves. On the one hand, we've got the E36 finally getting tracked up at the front. Now, I had the tyres fit last week, but the garage couldn't get the uh, gauges on to uh, do the tracking at the front, so my wheels are a bit all over at the minute, and hopefully, with a good alignment, the steering should feel a lot better. So, Rolex Dan is currently looking at that. I'll get to the other story in a minute. It's quite a sad story, so just take a minute to prepare yourself. Uh, we'll talk about the E36 a bit, and then I'll get on to the, the unfortunate news that I'm going to have to break to you. All right, let's go see what Dan's doing. I hope that most of you have seen the drifting video by now. I spent so long doing that last night. So the drift day was yesterday. Um, the drift day ended at about four, half past four, where I left Santa Pod. Drove straight on to Harrogate, took me about three and a bit hours, and then literally as soon as I got home, got a coffee and cracked on. And the vlog ended up being, as you've seen, like 34, nearly 35 minutes long. So if anyone's actually watched it all, fair play. But originally there was a two and a quarter hours worth of video that I had to sift through and then try and pick the best bits and even cut it down to just 34 minutes was a task. It could have easily been an hour long, but... So we've got two, 2.3 degrees of camber on the rear. Pretty much bang on, 2.1 of a degree each. That's good. On the front? I've lost my moves. Oh, I've got a scent to the steering wheel. Shoot. Just have a look at that jumper again. It's pretty sick, like, I wouldn't mind a free one. Yeah? Yeah. Right. You have to be nice to him though if you want free stuff. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't watched his vlog yet, but... It's only I've just come out. I've, I've never said this on camera. I do watch all his vlogs and I do quite enjoy them. You are, say that again. I can't. To the left? You are. And 0 0.7, 0 0.4 of a degree of toe out. That's quite a lot of toe out. Well, that's toe in. Right. And that's toe out. So basically it's all over the shop. Yeah. Right, so when I was driving home yesterday from the drift event, I did really notice just how bad the tow was on the front. Like the car really does tram line all over the shop and it's got all new lower bushes on this car so I knew it wasn't the bushes because they are quite common on these. So, as you can see, the tow is way out. So the, the tow is like, hang on, I'm going to try and do an explanation of what tow is. Right, so if you don't know what tow is, imagine these are your front wheels. Now, ideally, you want to be going straight, right? When you're going straight. Now, a lot of... Right, so at the minute, one side of the car is towing out, and the other side is towing in. Now, that would explain why the car is dragging off to one side. So now we've turned up the steering, and now we can adjust the uh, tie rods and bring that in and push that one out. And hopefully then, the car will drive straight, and it should handle a lot better as well. Now, that is quite a lot. Might be water. It's not. We'll leave the oil. You what? It's oil. It's power steering fluid. Is it? Well, it's all over the bottom of the rack and it's pink. Oh shit. Feel that? Um. It went flat on my ass. Where's it coming out of? Um. Reservoir. Pass, well, it's looked all on the back of here. Fuck. Right, so when Dan just interrupted us there when I was telling you what tow was, he was showing me that my power steering is leaking quite badly, which is pretty shit. It's all over the floor. Just in case you're wondering, when I said earlier that we have bad news, that's not it. That's just happened now. We've just noticed the power steering leak. There's even worse news to come, perhaps. Probably equally as bad. No, 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 this, the, the stuff that comes is definitely worse, but that's fucking shit. So we've got a drift day next weekend, and I've got nowhere to fix that at home. When Greg comes back, I'm going to try and sweet talk and see if he'll fix it for me after work one night or something. What do you think my chances of that are now? It's much of me getting a 361 So after we've had a new steering rack, a new reservoir, a new power steering pump, it looks like the hoses haven't been changed in that time. I'll speak to Pete and make sure he didn't change the hoses, but it looks like the hoses that are on it are pretty fucked and it's probably just got crusty around the top. I have been told that's common and I should change them, but I've just not had time and now it's bit as in the ass. Oh, shite. 
But it is tracked up. Dan's tracked it up. Look. Ta-da. So at least the car will drive straight now. It's just a shame that the power steering's fucked. Hopefully we don't have to take all our rack and everything off again, because that would have made all this work pointless. Right, so we'll get the beamer off the ramp and then we'll get to the, uh, the other news, which is a bit sad. Um, so I hope you're still prepared for that, because it's, it's going to come shortly. Dan's just cleaning up the mess that my power steering has made to Vastec's floor. Sorry, Vastec. That car's shit. Yeah, it's just, it's just going to be shitter as well. So Greg just got this Mark V Golf GTI. Still love the PD life. Move it back a bit. Nice of you, like. Fancy a job, Greg? Where at? On my car. Really <laughs> <laughs> what? Power oh, steering hoses. No. On that? Yeah. No. Why not? It's the badge on the bonnet. I'm going to drive through. Huh? Does it look like I could do drifts? Um, no. Have you ever done a drift before? Never. Never even done done. Never even been tied with me. Okay. I've got a feeling he's going to try and do a donut or something. I bet he goes into the wall. Oh well, that wasn't bad. How was your first skid? Right guys, so on to the sad news. Other than the E36 being broken again, but at least it drives straight now, even though it's leaking a lot of posts. Anyway, right, so the sad news that I want to share tonight is that someone's leaving us for good. Now, it's someone that's very special to both me and Dan. Big part of the team. It's been there for us in times of need so many times. It saved my ass. How many times? Too many times. And yeah, the Amarok's leaving us. Tomorrow, Don trades the Amarok in for a uh, Tuareg, is that how you say it? I am, I'm trading it in for a VW Tuareg. VW Tuareg, which is a uh, 3.2 V6 TDI, do you want to say what it is? It's a 3 litre V6 right. TDI, 4 motion, auto box, Pomerate roof, R line. The real sad news, Dan, is... Barbara is leaving. Yeah. Now, the Amarok, we started calling it Barbara one day, about two years ago, basically because of the sat-nav. Um, I'll show you, the, the sat nav, the, the tone of the voice of the sat nav, if you had to call the tone anything you'd call it Barbara, I'll show you. Right, so we're in the Amarok now for the last time and I'll just quickly show you Barbara. She's featured a few times in my videos but never really explained the story behind it. I don't know why the sat nav's called Barbara but it just is, so. The route is being calculated. There she goes. The destination is in the direction indicated. Dan's just fitted brand new tyres as well. Why have you done that? I fitted them on the 28th of December. We didn't get to go off-roading the other day either. I know I mentioned in one of my previous videos that we were meant to be taking the Amarok off-roading. On the morning of the off-roading, it's completely my fault. Well, somewhat my fault. I was ill. I was spewing up everywhere for some reason. I was just throwing up, so... We couldn't go off-roading. Dan obviously didn't want to go without me, why would you go anywhere without me? Probably the camera really, probably didn't want to go without the camera, but you know, you know, he's like a bit of an attention seeker. But yeah, she's going. It's been such a good car to us, so I just wanted to give it a special mention. It's, it's, this car has, has rescued me so many times. I, I'm going to try and list some now, but when I broke my radiator angle seat, yes. but when you broke my radiator angle seat, you told us back from there. Obviously the Nürburgring, uh, when we went to buy the EG last year, we went in the Amarok with the trailer. Um, we've been to Snatterton, we bought the E36 with the trailer as well, we took, went all the way down to Essex in the Amarok. Red E36? Yeah, Dan took me to get the Red E36 in this car as well, so Dan's took me to buy three different cars in this car all over the country. One in Wales, one in Reading, one in Essex, um, Alton Park as well. Recovered the Audi? Recovered the Audi, when the Audi broke. 
So yeah, this, this car's taken just me on probably four or five track days and you know, it's taken me to get so many new cars and we've, we've been all over it. We've been to, obviously to Germany in it. Um, those of you who have seen the video of me and Dan, we, we spent pretty much 36 hours solid in this car when we went to pick up the tech. So yeah, it's, pretty, it's a bit of an emotional goodbye. I'm going to miss it. I know you're going to miss it. I'm going to miss it a lot. Hmm. Well, oh. oh, there's a digital cover photo right there. What else? You know, there's. Yeah. The ring. Oh, I, I almost forgot. We took this car around the Nurburgring. Yeah, we did a we did a 12 minute lap in the rain, and we beat a Lotus Elise. Yeah! <laughs> and we overtook a Civic as well. There was a Honda Civic and EG on track, and we overtook it in Emerald. <laughs> Full race harness. Because <laughs> it was raining and you know everyone was really scared, but we were four up in the Amarok and we fucking passed this on the Civic. So what we're going to do now is to send the Amarok off properly. We're going to do something that we've done countless times in this car. We're going to go and get a Parmo. We're going to sit with the heated seats on. And we're going to watch Adam from 61's vlog from the drift day yesterday. Actually, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do that. You can come with us. You may as well. Yeah, we're gonna go say goodbye, have a last palmo in the Amarok, so let's go. It's a sad day. Check these quads. Right, so we've just ordered us palmos from Romeo Pizza in North Allerton. They do a good palmo, if you're interested. Confirmed. Now, you probably can't see that, but I'm gonna have a quick look at the uh, fluid level on the 36 power steering. Just in case, it's, if it's really low, then obviously I need to find some fluid fast. Just been to Tesco, just trying to buy some uh, automatic transmission fluid, and there's nothing there. But what are you doing? Getting the power signal fluid. I thought I was doing it. It's all right, I'm on it. Yeah, there's some in the reservoir, aren't there? Oh, there's loads. It's fucking loads. All right, it's down. Thanks, Dan. Uh, so yeah, at least we're not going to blow the power steering pump on the way home or the rack. So unless it just completely blows off the pipes, then we're fucked. But hopefully, we'll be all right. Right, we're gonna go collect his palmos and then we'll meet you inside Barbara, that sounds wrong. We'll meet you inside the Amarok. Right, we're back in the Amarok. Got the heated seats set to hot as fuck. These seats really do get hot. And we've got our emotional last palmos. But first... Oh yeah, so we're gonna get some, some quality viewing for when we're watching this, when we're eating his palmos. Yo guys, so welcome to another video. This is my first ever. Looking forward to it. The guys, the, well, right, that's a bit better. So I do like salad on mine. Dan doesn't like salad, but I like salad on mine. Of course, I'm a true um, golf. But no, we're just having some fun. Um, Dan's gone straight out onto the big track. And we all know what Dan's like. I, I might be 10.48. I say before two o'clock, he has got a crash, a crash car. <laughs> well, I didn't crash, so fuck you. Yeah, yeah. I'm a horse of a man! <laughs> 